So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. I basically do trading guides for both Xbox and PlayStation for all budgets from silver trading to icon trading with shadow trading and special card trading. On top of that, I do investments for weekend league, pre-team of the week and event investing. And you do have the ability to DM me one on one with any individual questions. And you can get all this for £4.99 a month or free if you have Amazon Prime. Yo, so guys, and welcome to episode 7 of Zero to Team Mbappe in 10 days. So we're coming into the back end, and it means we're getting underway at the big, big boy trading. And the big, big boy trading is icon trading. So in this episode, we're going to teach you guys how to do icon trading. So to do icon trading, you need about 2 million coins at least. A lot of people go, I've got 300k, how do I icon trade? And I go, you don't. That's, that's literally it. Because it's... Yes, they're big cards, but they're not necessarily the most efficient cards to trade with if you're on a low budget. Well, not necessarily, they just aren't. So, what you're going to do is you're going to start off with the filter. It's very, very simple for icons. You're just going to go quality, icon, and you're going to start at 64k. And then what you're going to do is going to go and search. And if there's no cards over the hour, or one card over the hour, you're going to increase it. So, we'll increase it to 66. If there are one or no cards over the hour, we're going to increase the maximum bid. And that is the only thing you have to do, is increase that maximum bid... Every time there are no cards or one card over the hour. Right, 6 to 74 is a bit overkill. Let's go to 72. How many cards are over the hour at 72? Still no cards over the hour at 72, so let's increase it to 73. How many cards over the hour at 73? One card, but one card's okay. It's, as soon as there's two cards, it won't work. 74. Loads of cards over the hour at 74. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to lower that down from 74 back down to 73. Because at 73, there's only one card and that works. Now you're going to proceed to do, you're going to press compare price back out. And what compare price back out is going to do is it's going to refresh the market without you even having to back out. Um, now obviously we're on Xbox, so it's a little bit slow. So we're going for the presumption, let's say Steven Gerrard's popped up. Now, how do I know how much Steven Gerrard sells for? Well, how I know what he sells for is I go and basically head over to Footwiz. I'm going to type in Gerrard and then I'm going to head over here. And I'm basically going to look at the Xbox data. This is going to show me everything Gerard has sold for in the last few days on Xbox. So he sold at 540, sold at 510, he sold at 540, he sold at 470, he sold at 508, he sold at 530, he sold at 525, he sold at 540, he sold at 525. So we can gauge from this that Steven Gerard probably sells for about, probably about 540. Uh, so if he sells at 540, I'm going to want to take 10% off that price. You're going to take 10% off the price you think you can sell it for. So 540, 10% is going to be about 54k, which means I don't want to pay anything more than 486k, if I'm not wrong. And that is higher than 486k, so we're not going to buy that. Any new cards want to pop up? Any new cards want to pop up? Save the air, he pops up. Um, oh my god, alright, I've saved this out, please, Dad. Alright, so then we're going to type in Vieri. I don't know what's happening this morning on the uh, V I E R. There we go. And it is 88 Vieri. And let's do the exact same thing. 78, 82, 82, 77, 77, 79, 81. We we're probably selling, you're looking about the high average. Probably looking about, about 80 I'd say. Yeah, I'd say 80 wouldn't take too long. And therefore we we'll take 80, 80 minus 10, 72. Nearly a deal, but not quite a deal. And there we go, just keep doing this and uh, we'll show you guys any deals we get. For our first deal, so we got to pick up a Crespo here at 80. Having a look at the prices, we sold an 89.5, an 89.5, a 98 even. Uh, we do see a few low 70s, in all fairness. Uh, we then see another 90 there, we got another 100, we got 86, 88. So, I mean, I'll probably at least be able to get between 88 and 86. I'm going to be trying to push for a 90, though. Uh, obviously, if I sell for 90, that's going to be a 10k difference with a 4.5k tax and a 5.5k profit. The buy, this is a check for 225. The plan to sell the check is going to be for 245. If you're on the market right now, but I mean, you can see how scarce cards are on the Xbox. It's not going to be too hard for them to fluctuate from 225 up to 245. That is going to be a 20k difference. Um, 20k difference with a 12k tax and 8k profit after tax. But there you go. Another icon flip. And that was Nakata right here. You can see right there. There you go. What him. Uh, got to pick him up 68. He goes and sells for 75k. Uh, this is going to be a nice little 6.5k difference with like a 3k tax and basically a 3 4k profit. So not too bad right there. Another icon deal. Happy, happy day. He's also got Hunter on, so he'll sell on pretty easily. Little deal right here. You got yourself a Vieri at 67k. That's the second one I've got discard now. 
77, 73, 74, 79, 82, 82, 79, 77, 77. So I'm going to go 79 because uh, we live life on the edge when it comes to selling players. But there we go. That is a nice little 12k difference with 4k tax and an 8k profit after tax. And that is a deco for 83. He's going to go, sorry, 73. He's going up for 85. That's a 12k difference with a 4k tax and a nice little 8k profit after tax. We've had some big boy sales on. So we've had some big boy sales. What's that? The Kata bought at 70. But 68 sold at 75, so not bad. Um, all our gold goalkeepers are messed up buying, and then just starting to get a bit of an icon, you know. Starting to move from the uh, we went from the gold to the specials, now we're going from the specials to the icons. So uh, yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Get that check relisted as well. But myself up the what well, we're going to pick ourselves up. We're going to pick up Larson uh, for 81. Uh, Larson, I believe we can get 94. I think it is. I can go load them up right here. Yeah, we've got 99 right there, 88 there, uh, 90, 92, 92, 92. And then another player I've gone and picked up was. I think he's gone now. One sec, if I'm back out, see if he pops up. Yeah, we will. We've gone and picked up Righty, there you go. We've got Right for uh, 150. Right, we're going to hopefully put it for 170. Uh, we can see right here 170 there, 171 there, 170 there, 179 there, 169 there, 171 there, 170 there, 171 there. Uh, so we're quite confident we can send for 171. Uh, that's going to be a 20k difference with uh, about an 8.5k tax and an 11.5k profit after tax. So, yeah, looking quite good on the icon front. Again, we're slowly getting there. You can understand it's a learning curve. You don't, you, you know, I'm not born knowing what all icons go for. So, slow learning curve. And you see, we're starting to pick up players at a faster rate. Oh, and that is a clover there at 86. Been in front of the back, though. Uh, yeah, bought 86. We'll be selling them for 95 and taking a little 4.5k profit. So. Not too bad. Put on our first card as well. So Jack bought a 225, sold at 245. Lovely, lovely. Nice little 8k profit. Uh, and sold on, yeah, a few of the uh, Musialas and other cards. So yeah, not bad. Starting to get a bit of cash flow off the icons. So have some other deals. Got ourselves a Lampard for 95. He's going up for 110. Um, but there we go. 15 uh, difference. 5 tax. Like, what? Nice little 9k profit after tax. There you go. We'll learn that speak by the end of that. And uh, Trezor Gay got for 76, going to go and sell for 84, that is an 8k difference, 4k tax, and uh, just under a 4k profit, so not bad again. Bill got us up Deco for 69, going to go and throw him up for 85, it's going to be a 16k difference with 4k tax and a 13k profit after tax, which is uh, very, very nice. Best deal so far, picked up the Lampard for 245, we're going to go and sell for 260, that is going to be a 35k difference with a 13k tax. And a 22k profit after tax, so very, very nice. And right here, righty, bought at 150, sold at 170, not bad, well, 169, so not too bad. Again, happy with the cash flow. There we go, sold Lampard, there's the 22k profit for him. Happy, happy days, happy days. We got ourselves some more deals, we got ourselves Miros and our close at 70. So we're gonna go for a nice little 80 and take a 6k profit. And we got ourselves a Vieri for 65, he's gonna get thrown up for 80. That is a 15k difference with a 4k tax and an 11k profit after tax. On top of that, we've managed to get ourselves a fair few sales. Once again, nice little cash flow going on right here. We have Giggsy, who uh, we picked up earlier, and Clive it. So, happy, happy days. Um, yeah, just show you guys more icon deals as well. So, we got ourselves a one new deal, I think. Oh, no, got like... Just not with it. So, we got ourselves a Sucker for 92. Going to sell them at 105. Uh, this is obviously going to be a 13k difference, 5k tax, 8k profit, happy days. Zanetu got for 118, we're going to go and sell him for 132. This is going to be a 14k difference, 7.5k tax and a 6.5k profit after tax. A pretty happy days. And we got Veron Veron, who we picked up for 60, 76k. Boy, 76, going to be selling him for 89k. That is going to be a 13k difference. With a 4k tax and a 9k profit after tax, so not bad again. Release that a funky little re-release SBC. Uh, we've only got loads of players, we've picked up loads of Rashfords at 12, expecting to sell at max price at 14. Loads of uh, Fabinho's at 23, well I'm going to go and sell them for 27. And uh, really, I basically realised all the cheap stuff's price range is going to go extinct, so that means the high rated stuff's going to do well, so... Yeah, then picked up loads of Dion. so uh, happy happy days, expecting these to go extinct at 16, and you know, yeah, should make it myself. I have an investment of like 1.2 million, should make myself like 300k probably, so probably covering the money made for the day. Distinct, uh, all the Rashfords I bought at 12 have all gone and sold on for uh, 16. So what I'm doing right now is I'm getting rid of Rashfords and I'm getting into 
uh, lower rated stuff that isn't extinct because that'll eventually rise because when 85s are extinct people have to use 84s so i'm going to go now all in on 84s uh made about 300k which i should probably just be normal and keep but i've actually sold it and reinvested all into 84s up to 6k uh definitely more of a risky play but i don't know i feel like it's a play that you can do it's, it's definitely risky i could just take 300k and go boom made 3.5 mil that's the quota done but we've gambled it put it all onto 84s and uh, hopefully they're going to rise uh, down the line just due to how rare they are at the moment so we are going to call it the end of today's episode uh, ending off with loads and loads of investments uh just selling them all on right now uh gone and picked up some matchy problems at like 15 selling at 15.5 elix was selling on four we bought mat navas was selling four we bought mat uh obviously all those um what's it called all of those rashfords were bought we bought were uh sold on for about a few k profit each then we got some Yongs, bought at 23, 24. These are all being sold at 29. Pogba's once again bought for 25.5. They're all being sold for 29. And uh, as I say, just got loads and loads of fodder to go and sell on. For some reason, I've got rid of the um, the price set today. So if I can just get that back. There you go. So it probably made us about 3.6 to maybe even 3.7 million. That fodder probably made us about 400k. And the icon train today has been really nice. Uh, and a lot of them have sold on. Obviously got a fair few because uh, the special market is down a little bit. But um, yeah, we're looking all good. Hope you guys have enjoyed the change of uh, trading. Uh, so tomorrow's going to be all like on trading. Going to have loads and loads of coins. Probably going to have like 2 million coins liquid even at the beginning of the day to start the icon trading. But thank you very much for supporting the channel. We've only got three episodes left. Uh, I mean, we're what, like 2 mil. Are we 2 mil off from Mbappe? No, episode 8, episode 9, episode 10. Sorry, we've got three more episodes left. Uh, yeah, we're looking really, really, really on track. So uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode.